PC Perspectives coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey everybody, Ryan Shroud from PC Perspective. We are here with crowd favorite JJ from Asus. Uh, and uh, we have several things we're going to talk about today. The first one is obviously the brand new kind of announced, the ROG Swift PG27AQ. AQ, right? Yeah. So this is different than uh, the, the currently available and shipping model, but it, it's unique. It's a, so it's a 4K G-Sync monitor is what we're looking at, right? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, since the release of the original ROG Swift, we've had a lot of people asking, I want 4K, I want IPS, right? I want G-Sync. And so that's pretty much what this is, because everything else is going to pretty much look identical to the previous Swift in terms of the tooling, the housing, the overall ID, the connectivity, how you can adjust uh, the monitor in terms of all the uh, ergonomic adjustment options. Mm -hmm. So that's all going to be identical. So the real difference is going to be in the panel, uh, and that's going to be a 4K panel. So 30, you know, you got your 38, 40 by 2160. You know, millis milliseconds in terms of response time, we're still tuning that, but probably about five to six milliseconds. 60 hertz is the maximum, and then you got the G-Sync thrown in there. Uh, but overall, I think it's a, going to be an awesome option for you guys out there. Now, I know we've already asked you this. We're trying to figure out pricing availability. Are you guys saying anything uh, in regards to that yet? Well, definitely on pricing, uh, that's an unknown at this standpoint, but definitely, you know, once we have hardline pricing, you guys will definitely know uh, through, of course, a press release or something along those lines. Yeah. As far as availability, right now, I'd say it's tough. Um, we're targeting post Q2 timeframe. So that could be anywhere from, let's say, like July to September. I mean, right now, I think the amount of work that we're doing is a little bit on the panel side, as well as we're continuing to do optimizations with NVIDIA on uh, the entire display chain. So that includes everything from the control unit to the driver to the GPUs and accounting for everything in there to try to give you guys the best experience possible. Now, when we posted the news story about the announcement from the press conference the other day, uh, you know, some people had questions about, is there a benefit to G-Sync with a 60 hertz panel, yep. right? And is it... it because of the 4K resolution, because of the higher resolution, the, the higher impact it's going to have on graphics cards, does the 60 hertz, mm -hmm. uh, do you think it's more advantageous to have G-Sync at that point, or is it less advantageous than, say, if you had a 120 or 144 hertz panel? Well, I still think for a lot of users, 60 hertz is the comfortable norm, and you can still have a great experience. And I still think that there's definitely a benefit to having G-Sync within the normal f uh, refresh rate that we know. Right. Um, now definitely would it be advantageous to be able to do more than that? Yes, but this is also something a lot of people don't understand. As you continue to drive the refresh rate for the panel, everything else gets pulled down. So things like color uniformity and the mm -hmm. gamut, um, like we can overdrive internally, we've overdrive test panels like on our VG series that we were doing 120, 144 hertz to over 220, 240. Uh, but what happens is everything gets horribly drawn down. So you have really, really bad colors. Your brightness levels almost go down to, to zero. So you have to realize it's a compromise of trying to do the best at maintaining the color, the brightness, everything that you want while still giving you that increase in refresh rate. So I think as of right now, for the best experience possible, this is pretty much it in terms of if you want the best motion clarity and response, it doesn't get better than this. I know uh, at PC Perspective we have uh, probably nothing has less excitement or interest or debate than variable refresh monitors right now. Yeah. So I know a lot of people that when we posted this are very excited about it. So looking forward to that. Very Second cool. half of this year, guys. Uh, keep an eye out. Thanks.